Oh, are we on the air? Okay, welcome to the FX Billiards Podcast. I am Brian Mitchell and Jason. Why don't you introduce yourself to everyone? Hi, hello everybody. My name is uh, Jason. I um, reside here in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. And I've been a uh, student of Brian's for probably around six to seven months now. I've really enjoyed his channel, enjoy working with him. Um, we've obviously been doing this online for about seven months now. And, you know, I, I, I certainly feel like he's, um, you know, someone that's helped me a lot with my game. I've even found myself be able to help a couple of other people that I play with with their game, um, just learning from Brian, you know. So, um, you know, we're here doing this podcast together just to talk about a few things about pool, um, everyday things. And um, so I'll turn it back to you, Brian. So I know one of the things that um, you told me a few days ago is you were getting uh, your Revo tip replaced, the tip on your Revo shaft. How did that go? Yeah, so um, first things first, I, I actually had two um, pool sticks that I had to get um, re-tipped. One was actually a Venom stick, and and it has a non uh, a low deflection shaft. But my second one was a Revo, mm -hmm. so the 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 place that I take it to is kind of like a local pool place. Mm -hmm. You know, they sell pool tables, um, polka tables, things like that. Um, it's funny the the guy had no issue re-tipping the um, the Venom shaft, but when it came to the Revo, right away he's like, listen, I don't, I don't really want to touch this. I don't want to mess this stick up. Um, you know, so he gave it back to me. I, um, I had spoken to Brian about it and then Brian said, you're probably going to have to either a send it back to predator or find a local predator dealer that would do it. So I ended up bringing it to, um, bringing it to black billiards, which is a, a, a pretty big predator house here in New York city. And we brought it there. They take the stick, they charge something. It was, a, it was about 40 to $45. You know, I, I asked them to put on a, a, a Kamui medium tip um you know everything worked out great it took about a week to to set you know seven or eight days to get it back wow um but uh you know a little bit longer than i would have thought you know they don't do it in-house they actually took it they shipped it somewhere then uh you know then it goes back to them <laughs> you, you took I, it I, to, I I, you took I, it to them and they myself. shipped it to predator <laughs> yeah maybe you know maybe um which is funny because i could have just shipped it myself if <laughs> yeah, that were the, uh, i think, I think that that's what yeah, i think that's but, what um, happened but they, they, they also didn't tell me that when uh when i got there and i'm like all right you know i, I could pick it up tomorrow or, or friday i don't know we, we send it somewhere i'm like where <laughs> well, what's the address i mean let me know uh, let, let, let's, let's bypass the middleman here but, well i'm going to shout out monarch billiards because i i've been doing business with them for well over 30 years and um that's how old i am that i've been using the same pool cue dealer <laughs> for about 30 years and they have a guy i mean highly skilled guys on the premises that and they are an authorized um predator retailer uh and they do a great job i, I have to wait an hour hour and a half or two hours sometimes um because i usually don't just drop off one cue i'm usually i, I try to set them up so that my shafts are, are being dropped off at the same time. So I might get well, two or three done. It's, it's nice that you have multiple shafts, Brian. Well, yeah, I, I actually do a lot less tip business than I used to. When I used to play with four or five different cues and um, I used to shape the hell out of them probably too frequently, uh, I was going through tips very quickly. Um, and uh, the people ask me all the time on the channel, um, what tips do I use? Uh, right now, I'm using Victory. The um, I that's, have that's used that's, that's Predator's own brand, right? Right, right. And of course, um, Predator sponsors the channel. Uh, but even before that, I was using their tip. Um, I was also using Kamui Kamui Black. I think is is very good. I think the victory tip holds its shape a little bit longer, um, but they're they're both great. And you don't have to spend a bunch of money uh, on a tip, but if you think about it, if you if you look at it over the course of a six month time period, the very best tip on the market, it's, whether it's, it's victory like or right? I mean, they're, they're something right. Like that. And installed, you're yeah. talking about forty bucks, which sounds like a lot, 
But when you, you know, you look at it over a six month time period, come on, five dollars a month to, yeah, to not, have not, not even or ten dollars yeah. a month to have the very best of anything is is worth it. Yeah. So that's that's you know, that's one of the things we also talked a lot about the the um, the economics of pool. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's not it's not the cheapest thing in the world. It's it's not, you know, going out and playing basketball or you know, you know if you're gonna go play at a pool hall, obviously there's a cost associated with that. If you're gonna play right. at an APA or, or a pool league, there's um albeit a small cost, but there's a cost associated with that. Um so yeah, it's not always the cheapest thing to um the cheapest hobby in the world I have, but you know, definitely entertaining. So yeah, and it's like you know, it's like most other sports. If, if there's an apparatus involved, I always say, um, then it's it, it gets expensive. Uh, if it's if it's um, if it it's could be tennis, golf, right? If it's I mean, golf, if, it, if, if, it's, if it's golf, you could buy two hundred dollar clubs, so you could buy two thousand dollar clubs, right? Yeah. I mean, um, you know, good good equipment costs good money. You know, you you I don't know, you you pay once or you pay twice. Sometimes is the way I look at it. If you get into something, I, I see a lot of people go, they, they get their $75, $100 pool cue, and then they, they come over to my house and they see some of the stuff that we have here. It's like, yeah, I, I, I want one of those. It, it feels better in my hand and the, the, the low deflection makes it difference. I'm like, well, that's, that's what you're paying for. So Yeah, and there, there definitely is a difference. I think beginner oh, sure. players, yeah, sure. yeah I, remember, I remember seeing a guy um, – at, at a, it wasn't even at a pool hall. It was a, a sports bar. And, and I'm looking at, you know, his cue kind of from across the room. And um, do, you, do you know? <laughs> be, be nice, it, Brian. This be is kind nice. of sexist, but um, do you know what it means if they call a girl Monet? And this is, a, this is an expression that other women have made up. Uh, they say she's Monet. And I don't. I don't. Well, if you ever, if if you know anything about art, a Monet is just a series of dots. Okay. He, that's the way he painted with just a series of dots. And if you get far enough away from it, it's beautiful. But if you get close to it, it's just dots on a canvas. Do you think she's pretty? Yeah, she's a full on Monet. What's a Monet? It's like the painting, see? From far away, it's okay, but up close, it's a big old mess. I love all women, no matter what they look like. No, or, I know. I'm just saying. I don't know. But, <laughs> but um, this cue was Monet, because I saw it from across, across the room, and I'm like, that's, that's a nice-looking cue. And I went over to ask the guy, you know, what kind of cue do you have? And as I could get it out of my, you know, get the words out, I could see that, it didn't, no, it was definitely Monet. Because as I got close to it, you, could you see know, the, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but his response was Budweiser. <laughs> it had like a Budweiser logo on it. But this guy played APA. He played every week. He he did fine for his level. I mean, he was an APA four. So the moral of the story is you don't have to have crazy expensive equipment. But once you get under... Fifty dollars for a pool cue, you probably should have saved your money and, and gotten a hundred dollar cues. That's okay. all we have for you today, and um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit us in the comments. Let us know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Brian. Take care. Never back it down, baby. I'm a soldier, stand in my ground. So if you're gonna find me for my heart, all you're gonna get is battle scars. Baby, I'm a tiger, 27.